South African signalers maintain contact with other units situated at Book Book, using their heliograph to span Saloon Bay. General Auchinleck sweeps down on the Axis forces bottled up in Saloon and Hellfire. The fall of Saloon and Hellfire came about during one of those times when we were on top in Libya. Whatever the position in the Western Desert may be at the time of screening, here's how we slammed into the two garrison towns and captured them for the second time in this ever-changing North African campaign. Hellfire Pass was continually being pounded from the land, sea and air. Until the enemy surrendered, the RAF and Free French bombing planes went over at half-hour intervals. The camera will take you aboard a Free French plane. Don't mind if the mascot comes to, do you? On a raid over the place you've read so much about. Once in the air, the pilot retracts the undercarriage and with a comfortable load of 250-pound bombs aboard, a plane of the Lorraine Squadron goes bosh-busting. Target below, and a stick of bombs goes hurtling down on that desert hotspot. Bombs gone, and another stick leaves the racks. Follow them down and see those great volcanic eruptions spout up. And mind you, when a free French bomb aimer goes blitzing, he's pretty free with his bombs. When the prisoners came out from the pass, it was understandable why they surrendered. Some were shell-shocked, most of them were exhausted, and many were dog-tired, and feeling the effect of shortage of food and water. Two Italian generals and about 5,500 Axis troops were taken prisoner when Hellfire caved in. Head Nazi in Hellfire was Major Bach. General de Villiers told him point blank that it must be an unconditional surrender. Another big shot to fall into our hands was a heavy gun of French make. Perched on the escarpment is the place which caused so much trouble. Our cutting of the main water supply at Fig Tree Wells helped largely in Hellfire's downfall. By this time, the captured defender of Bardia, General Schmidt, was joined in captivity by Major Bach, who turned out to be not a staff officer, but an army chaplain. Hellfire and buckets of brimstone. What next?